Long live TC News! <laughs> and welcome back to another episode of TC News. We're your hosts, Monique and Jack. It's been a busy few weeks, so let's see what we've all been up to. Um, <laughs> nice rejuvenating soup for the sick also known as sick soup so let's look at our ingredients here some vitamin C tablets honey cinnamon a cupcake for the happiness a Vicks vapor drop an apple a day to keep the doctor away chili and garlic in one and we don't have any lemons so we've got some lemon substitute and some also extra flavor here let's put it in a pot and get started Let's put our first ingredients in, which is the vitamin C tablets. Now, these are actually quite nice, but we don't want any to go to waste, so... Let's put a few of those in there. Now, we want to bring the water up to boil. And while that is heating up, we want to unwrap our cupcake and unwrap our ingredients that are currently wrapped up. And for 
full flavour, we want to peel the cupcake. Much like we peel the avocado, this is to get the full flavour of the cupcake and just make sure it gets all completely into the pot. Now, I know you guys at home can't smell the what I'm cooking, but it smells really good and not like burning. So if you have that, then that's a good sign. Okay, now time for the honey. We only want a small spoon of this. Now the honey can be quite hard to get off, so just dip it right into the water. Ooh. She's a feisty one. Okay, now time for the cinnamon. So I found this new Mei Mei about a special way to put the yourself into your cooking. Perfect. Now time for the apple. We want this nice and crushed up. Perfect. Just sprinkle that in. And if it's not crushed up enough, you could just do more of that. Okay, so this here is our most important ingredient. Now, I cheeky like to have a little taste of this one. It's quite sour, so don't put too much. <coughs> and that should do us. Coming up to our final ingredients here, so we've got a fresh new uh, bottle of garlic chili sauce, so get ready to listen to that pop. So good. Now we want a little dollop of this in there. To make sure all our ingredients get nice and mixed up, we make sure to stir it. Now if you can feel stuff sticking to the bottom, that's a problem. So get it nice and stirred up until you get a nice solid consistency in there. And it doesn't matter if you have some chunks, that will be okay. <laughs> okay, still a bit sick. I'm looking forward to this soup. Looks about the right consistency and, and temperature to me. Awesome. So let's go and pour it into our bowl. Jinkies. Now, so I know all, not all of you at home have smell o vision but um, Mum, can we get quiet and sit, please? Sorry, sorry. Now, so I know not all of you at home have smell o vision but if you could smell this, it smells fragrant, like mint and cinnamon. So let's give her a taste. I'm cured. Amnesty International was selling chips the other day. Let's check it out. Oh, yum! Fish and chips, yeah! Fish and chips Make me want to lick my lips Eat them for breakfast We're raising money for Freedom Week by selling chips to the school. Amnesty International! <laughs> <laughs> I had the opportunity to interview Jonathan King, a famous New Zealand director, last week. Let's see how the interview went. And we're here with uh, Jonathan King, a New Zealand filmmaker who's made quite a few New Zealand films and films just shot around from where we are. So Black Sheep was the first feature film I wrote that actually got any kind of traction. Clearly it's kind of a stupid idea. I, I made this one and we made that. It was actually a really hard film to make and a lot of things kind of went wrong. And it, we had beautiful weather on the first day and then it rained every day for three weeks, which is just the kind of boring stuff that really kind of screws up the movie. So we had a lot of challenges on the film, but you know, a lot of really good things around it. So both of those I worked with, we had a workshop making creatures and effects and makeup and stuff, which was amazing. We also do trained sheep as well, so you can train sheep. <laughs> you can train sheep. So we had these really great animal wranglers. And so I sort of said to them, like, you guys are animal wranglers, can you train sheep? They're, oh yeah, you can, you can train anything, you know, you can train sheep. <laughs> the secret is with sheep is, um, if you want 300 sheep to come over the hill, run up the hill, you only need to train one sheep to come, and all the others will follow the sheep <laughs> that knows where it's going. So you train one sheep to come when it's called. So it's kind of with food, rewards and stuff, and you have a noise, like they have little kind of clicker things, click, 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 click. Do you have any tips for any young filmmakers? Start making stuff with your friends. You know, it's never been easier to, you know, you can shoot on a phone, you can cut it on a small iMac or whatever, you know, or on your phone even. 
I'm, I'm working on a, um, a horror film, a kind of comedy horror film, in fact, uh, which may or may not happen even, you know, so it's kind of at the stage where um, it's been developed for a while and now it's like, will someone give us millions of dollars? And yeah, maybe they will, and maybe they won't. And I think that's all we've got time for today. Thank you for talking with us. My pleasure, thank you for having me. On Tuesday the 19th of September, Tower College will be hosting their school-wide mock election. New Zealand First, Honourable Winston Peters. New Zealand First is committed to a rigorous and strictly applied immigration policy that serves New Zealanders first. This election is our time to make a better, fairer New Zealand for everyone. Let's do this. Vote Labour. New Zealand is going through a period of stability. Vote National. Opportunity Party. Care, think, vote. We're here to lower tax reforms, make New Zealand better. Some more Vote Act. Only you know how to spend your money. Keep the government out of your pockets. Do what you want as long as it's not hurting anyone. Vote Act. Woo! The Green Party of Aotearoa is committed to fixing our benefit system, cleaning up our rivers and combating climate change. Vote Green. Let's make Māori compulsory in our schools. Vote Māori. It'll be based on real parties and real issues. The polling booth will be in the hall foyer and it'll be open at lunchtime so you can cast your vote. By voting, you get free food, so have your say and vote. V I D vote. 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 <laughs> vote. <laughs> vote. <laughs> <laughs>